Hello everyone, I'm back today with another process video. Today's layout is for a traveler's notebook insert. And I've been working on this one a little bit. I have a couple other videos that go uh, along with this traveler's notebook insert. Uh, today I'm working with these two photos. These are from a photo walk that I did. Just kind of walks around uh, the downtown area of a nearby suburb called White Bear Lake taking pictures of buildings and flowers and all the cool things they have in downtown. So I have those two pictures. Those are both four by four. And then I've decided I at least want to use this on one side. I haven't decided if I'm going to cut it. Maybe I like the ombre look. So I really think I want to keep it as, as one sheet. But this was from Kelly Perky, I believe. And her papers that she gives, uh, or maybe it's not. Hers are normally two-sided and this is one-sided. Um, well, wherever it's from, it's too big for this particular um, traveler's notebook insert. As a standard, they're about eight and a half by four and a half. Um, this comes bigger than that. So I had to trim this down to eight and an eighth by four and an eighth. So that will fit in there nicely. But really so far, that's kind of all I have. So I'm gonna pull out some embellishments from my little containers and see what I have in terms of maybe wood veneer or phrases or something that would go with these two particular photos. So I did decide to use this as a full sheet so I did adhere that and then I put this shop front picture in here and I think I either need to stamp something or have a little phrase up here. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to do with this yet. And then that other picture will be on the other page. So far, all I have found for that is I have my photo and then I have this little round embellishment that says smile and it matches the flowers. And it did make me smile to see them because I love all shades of yellow. I just find it very bright, very happy. And so when I saw them, it did make me smile. So I think I might tuck this under here or something. I'm not quite sure yet. So I have, whoops, I have that stuff. And then I pulled out just some phrase stickers that I have. I've had these a while. I can't remember where this is from. This is from a beautiful mess. You can see that up here. Um, I used to subscribe to their kits a while ago um, and then just decided it wasn't really for me anymore. I stopped subscribing and now they're not doing it anymore. Uh, so I guess I'm lucky that I got some of their stuff while I had the chance. Uh, here's another one from them. And then I have these, which I believe, yes, Felicity Jane. So there's some yellow in there. I wasn't sure if that would work, but I thought I would take that out. And then was this the one I was thinking of? Nope, that's not it. Um, but I also have these just sort of random items that I thought maybe there was something in here. There's a little bit of yellow there that I could make work. So I'm gonna mess around with that, see what happens. And then I also pulled out this one from Pink Fresh. This is an older one. I think I got this maybe, I don't know, six months ago. It does say 2017. Um, I thought maybe this bird, I don't think what it says here matches what I'm doing, but I thought maybe I could cut it so it looks like a half circle and just cut right below the feet and then you wouldn't see this part. Um, so I'm going to mess around with some of this stuff and see what I come up with here. So I did what I said I might do. I cut this in half. And then as I was looking at this, originally I was thinking I would put it down here, but then I thought, oh, if I angle it just a little bit, it'll look as if it's sitting atop this awning. So I did do that. Then on that same sheet of pink fresh items, I found this. Very little is needed to make a happy life. And then it matches this color blue. And I thought, you know, I guess my life is pretty simple that I can walk by, um, you know, an interesting building <laughs> with nice colors and be happy with that. So I'm going to use that and I think I'm just going to put it right below the picture here. Maybe I'll go more to the left side since the bird is focused on the right side. And then these pink fresh items, they're almost, they feel like a fake leather kind of. I'll hold them up to the camera and see if it'll pick it up. So you can kind of see the texture here. So they have a nice kind of feel to them when you use them. Um, so it gives a nice little bit of texture, but they're very thin. So they don't take up a lot of space, which is a big deal, especially in a traveler's notebook. I decided to put my second photo on this side and leave the background white. Um, the only issue I had was that on the previous page where I had stamped hashtag fun, the ink did bleed through a little bit. So it helped that I could put my photo here and then hide that. Um, I am going to use this smile piece 
that I showed before because it has a white border if I put it white against white that's not going to show up very well so I am going to ink this just a little bit there we go so that it'll stand out when I adhere it to the page And we're just going to tuck it. Oh, I adhered it kind of almost all the way to the edge. Can I lift it up a little bit? Maybe just enough? Not as much as I would like. Please don't rip. Eek, I can hear the paper ripping a little bit. Okay, we're not going to push that too far. There, that'll get me enough at least. There. So I'll tuck that under. I either need a thin piece of washi or something here or another word phrase or something I think just to break that up a little bit and then I'm still not sure what I'm going to do up here if anything or down here. To bring in some of the color from this side into this side I decided to use just one of these little sticker element things from Studio Calico in that same blue so that I could tie it all together. And I took another one of those little leathery pieces that were from Pink Fresh and put it over here. Since it was yellow and orange, I thought that worked nicely with these flowers. And when I'm looking at these, I'm not quite sure that I'm sold that I can get away with them being like one layout. Um, so I may end up almost treating them as if they're each their own. Not sure on that yet either. Okay, so I decided that on this side I would use a wood veneer because I found this one that says here and now. So I glued that on. It um, should be pretty dry, but I'm going to kind of leave it alone, not mess with it for a little bit. And then on this side, because of this orange, I decided to bring that in to this side as well to make it a little bit more cohesive. So I just took a little one of these stickers like this one, happened to be orange, put that behind there, and then put another one of the Pink Fresh embellishments um, and it was perfect because it was yellow and orange and so I just put the little flower on top of that and I think what I've decided is that I'm going to journal here so I'll have to make some lines and then I'm going to stamp here and for the stamping I think I'm going to go with this one that says hopefully my camera will focus here took a picture so it would last longer <laughs> so that tiny phrase my camera's not focusing well there we go so it says, so it will last longer in this kind of tiny font here. Um, this is a Kelly Perky set from 2015. As you can tell, I like Kelly Perky stamps. <laughs> I use them a lot uh, and I don't tend to get rid of them very often. So I'm still have, you know, have this one from 2015 and it is called Shutterbug. So if you're on the lookout for that, I don't believe she's still selling it anywhere, but you might be able to find it on eBay or something. So Shutterbug by Kelly Perky. I was just looking through those phrase stickers that I have. Um, it wasn't on the ones from A Beautiful Mess. It was on this sheet where I can't remember where they're from. Um, but I thought, you know, this is awfully white and there isn't a lot of that here other than the bird really. And so I thought, well, if I could find a phrase that would work, that would help bring in some white on this side as well. And I found this one, Everyday Things. And I think it goes well with the fact that it says very little is needed to make a happy life. So I think I'm just going to put it right there. Yes, I think that's appropriate. And then I'm going to do my journaling lines. Let's see here. I think I normally use the 05. Well, no, maybe, maybe I'll go the 03. I don't want it super thick. All right, so what I normally do is I just take my pen. This is a Zig Millennium had these forever but they last and they look great when they're on there so let's see is it gonna focus for me again go slow and maybe it'll stay in focus okay so I just do the cheaters way so this was a little scratch piece of paper I had notes I made to myself don't remember what that's about um, and then a test that I did to stamp that so I just take this and I just line it up to the edge so that it's straight and then I just make lines with it. So I don't stamp them on or do anything, you know, super special. I just do that. I don't trust myself to ever do them without help 
of some kind because <laughs> they would definitely not be straight. So this is the best way I have found that makes it fairly easy. It doesn't take a lot of work to do it, but it still looks decent. <gasps> I screwed that one up. Dang it. What did I get for trying to go too quickly? So let's see here. I will just bring it down like that. It's gonna be uneven, but you know what? Perfection is boring. I'll make it work. So I used to actually have stamps where you did journaling lines. Do I still have those? I think I do somewhere. Maybe I should start using them so that this doesn't happen. Um, it doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Uh, so you know what? I'm not going to freak out over it. I'm just going to leave it. So that's how it looks after they've been done. Um, I don't know exactly what I want to say yet, so I'm not going to do the writing at this point. But I think this one is done, so that was pretty easy. It went pretty fast. Everything kind of came together. I was a little worried that they wouldn't look cohesive, but I think they do once all the colors kind of match and, and it was all put together. Uh, this is probably one of my favorites, actually, so far for a Traveler's Notebook spread. I just It makes me happy to look at it. I love the yellow. I love the flowers. Yay! So I am pleased. So hopefully this gives you some ideas for working in a Traveler's Notebook insert. Um, and I, as always, appreciate you watching. Thanks.